idol at kabayan Israel sa loob ng isang araw. Pinonteria ang nasa apataraang target sa Gaza. Naglunsad din ang Israel Air Force ng sunod-sunod na airstrike. Dalawang general ng Iran Revolutionary Guard Corps at membro ng Hezbollah tumba matapos magsagawa din ng airstrike ang Israel. China, siguradong iyak na naman. France, gustong magkaroon ng Visiting Forces Agreement sa Pilipinas. Naku po, matinding rebelasyon ni Senator J.V. Ejercito. Isinawalat na merong mga Pilipino na sa payroll ng China. Yung ilang sektor doon. Na ako, taga-support ako ni Pangulong Duterte no panahon na ako nagdepensa ng halos lahat ng mga infrastructure project yan, dahil ako yung naniniwala. Kaso, may ilang sangay ng DDS nakakalungkot eh, sila po ay pinopondohan ng China Yan. to create destabilization. At nagkataon, Ganun. pagkatapos nilang dalawang linggo sila sa China, magdadalawang linggo ka ba sa China? Bagong Philippine Coast Guard Headquarters sa Pag-asa Island, Pinas sinayaan. Bagong muka ng Pag-asa Island, hinangaan ng ating mga kababayan. Amerika, ipinakita ang kwarsa sa Arabian Gulf gamit ang combat ship at unmanned surface vessel. Sa muling pagsiklab ng panibagong yugto ng digmaan ng Israel at Hamas, muling inatake ng Hamas ang Israel gamit ang paglunsad ng napakaraming rockets, isang pagpapakita na ginamit lamang ng Hamas ang ilang araw na tigil putukan upang muling mag-imbak ng mga armas. Inilahad naman ng Israel Defense Force na apatara ang mga target ang kanilang inatake sa isang araw lamang sa loob ng Gaza Strip. Tuloy-tuloy naman ang ginagawang airstrike ng Israel Air Force sa mga lokasyon ng kalaban. Ang matindi pa dito mga kabayan, hindi lamang Hamas ang nakakaranas ng hagupit ng puwarsa ng Israel. Iran at Hezbollah pinatikim ng Israel ng matinding airstrike. Dalawang general ng Iran Revolutionary Guard Corps sa Syria at tatlong miyembro ng Hezbollah sa Lebanon ang nasawi. Ganito katindi gumanti ang puwarsa ng Israel Defense Force. Balitang Pilipinas naman tayo mga kabayan. Sa isang programa inilahad ni Senator J.V. Ito, na meron tayong mga kababayan na talagang binabayaran ng China para sa pagkalat ng kanilang mga propaganda. Panoorin ang video. No, siguro na ano na yan, na indoctrinate at nagkaroon ng ano, pare-pareho mensahe. Nagkataon naman, nagsalita ako tungkol sa West Philippine Sea. Hey, oh. ano, oh. Ako yung una nilang pinuntiri at saka si Commodore uh, Jun Tariela hmm. ng Coast Guard. Oh. Tapos uh, si Secretary Gibo Teodoro. Hmm. Ang sa akin lang kasi hindi ko rin akalain sa ganitong sitwasyon Tumatawid tayo ng political color eh. Na, na binubuli tayo mm. ng China. Dapat Pilipino magkaisa tayo, tayo. Pilipino tayo. Mm. Ang kinalulukot ko yun, sige, hindi ko sukat akalain, ni mga Pilipino, na ibibenta ang ating bayan. No? Mahirap yun. Nakakalungkot. Eh, Ibig sabihin mo, mm. Sen. JB, meron dyan na nasa payroll na Ay. Umbaga, ng uh, China. Yan ang yun nasa Intel report. Nila. Yan po, inakamusap ko. Intel, Intel report yun. Intel, Intel, yan, mm. very... Nako. Credible. Ito ba, may, ito ba yung mga may pupunta ng China ba? Ito ba yung mga pupunta ng China? <laughs> na bumisita pa? Pumunta pa ng... <laughs> matagal uh, dun. Ng, matagal dun? <laughs> matagal, uh, dalawang linggo. Ito si Isebio ah? nandun eh, Isebio. Ah? <laughs> ito ba yun, yung mga all expenses paid na pinapunta <laughs> yun sa China? Hanggang, hanggang ngayon. ngayon. <laughs> ah? Ito ba yung mga sinasabi mo? Uh, Ipinakita yeah. naman ng Amerika ang kanilang puwersa sa mga kalaban sa Arabian Go gamit ang combat ship at unmanned surface vessel kung saan nagsagawa ng live fire exercise. Pilipinas Pinas, mas lalong pinapalakas ang ating maritime surveillance sa Pag-asa Island. Bagong pasilidad pinasinayaan ng Philippine Coast Guard. Ito ay magsisilbing bagong headquarters ng Philippine Coast Guard para bantayan ang ating mga nasasakupan at ang ginagawa ng China sa di kalayuan. Sa pinakabagong larawan ng Pag-asa Island, kita mula sa Himpapawit ang napakagandang bagong runway ng nasabing isla. Tuloy-tuloy naman ang ginagawang pagbabago sa Pag-asa Island para sa ating mga kapwa Pilipino na naninirahan sa lugar. Good news na good news mga kabayan. Noong nakarang linggo, ating tinalakay ang mga bansang kaalyado at gustong maging formal na kaalyado ng Pilipinas tulad ng Amerika, Australia, Japan at Canada. Ngayon, isang bansa na naman ang gustong magkaroon ng Visiting Forces Agreement sa Pilipinas. Dumating ang French Minister for the Armed Forces sa Pilipinas at nakipagkulong kay Department of National Defense Gibo Chodoro. Pinarmahan ng dalawang bansa ang isang kagustuhan ng France o yung tinatawag na Letter of Intent sa planong pagtatag ng Visiting Forces Agreement sa pagitan ng dalawang bansa. Ibig sabihin nito mga kabayan kapag meron ng Visiting Forces Agreement ang Pilipinas at France, 
makakapasok sa loob ng Pilipinas ang mga sundalo ng France maging ang kanilang mga barkong pandigma at iba pang mga military assets ay magkasabay ang Pilipinas sa mga joint patrol sa ating mga teritoryo halimbawa sa West Philippine Sea mas lalong mahihirapan ang China dahil maraming mga bansa ang gustong tulungan ang Pilipinas na madepensahan ang sarili laban sa pangbubuli at pagiging agresibo ng China um, How do you think the French government um, can help the AFP improve its external defense capability or an external defense operation if we have AFP with them? Thank you. Wait, wait, uh... External defense and VFA are not necessarily one and the same thing, all right? A VFA allows foreign troops to be present on a visiting basis and to e exercise together with Philippine troops on Philippine territory. That is why in areas outside our territorial sea, we do not need a visiting forces agreement to exercise with other naval troops. Now. The purpose, as His Excellency the Minister said, is to increase interoperability. When, for example, there is a United Nations resolution calling for enforcement action in somewhere where the Philippines decides to participate. For example, we are sending a delegation for peacekeeping in Sudan. With the visiting forces agreement, our troops can exercise with one another beforehand and develop interoperability and skills for future operations. And we are just setting the framework for adaptability and flexibility in our inter-military operations. Secondly, is for humanitarian assistance and disaster response, <coughs> where troops have to work together in a coordinated manner. Now, the reason why a visiting forces agreement is required is because our constitution requires it. Had our constitution not had that prohibition, we would not need a visiting forces agreement and general international law on interoperability of foreign troops on Philippine soil would apply. It just allows us to have the legal framework of the presence of foreign troops in order to exercise and train and exchange best practices and technology on a people-to-people -people basis in the territorial domain of the Republic of the Philippines. How it will enhance external defense by the synergy alone built between the two forces, it adds a dimension to the external defense posture. And with people-to-people -people exchanges, interoperability training, it will have an effect on our capability upgrades and our process upgrades too. And for our uh, defense posture, the credible deterrent posture, of course we are, the quality of the French military products are known worldwide and their durability is known worldwide. However, with an opportunity to experience it both in France and in the Philippines, first hand, it also adds to the quality of decision making that we can do in regard our acquisitions processes. For, to answer the first question, uh, we can't give a definite timeline because uh, that is a matter for the heads of state to decide to get authorities from our respective heads of state to negotiate a uh, status of visiting forces agreement. In our experience with Japan, it happened very rapidly. So we hope that uh, the same thing happens here. Now, in defense industry cooperation, uh, of course, aside from your traditional hardware, where France is, uh, an, has an excellent reputation in providing naval, in, uh, uh, land, and air capabilities for armed forces, we also want to cooperate in emerging and disruptive technologies to include, uh, together with the Philippine Space Authority, uh, the renewed interest in the peaceful uses of uh, space technology and other opportunities where we can cooperate in a synergistic basis, on a business case basis too, and on a sustainable basis. So uh, we also talked about uh, applications perhaps on hybrid warfare and hybrid threats. Finally, also, disaster risk reduction is something that uh, 
is on the top of capability enhancements uh, and uh, exchanges, uh, given the fact that it's a reality that armed forces assets are used in terms of response. And uh, there is a whole range of areas where we can work on a synergistic basis uh, and on uh, a basis of uh, economic viability, which is the guidance of the President. Laban Pina.